Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to set character limit in cells of Google Sheets, like and subscribe, support the channel, let's get started. So let's consider such a small range of data. In the first column are the names of the students, in the second the subjects they study, and in the third the grades they received for the subject. We need to set a limit of 10 characters for the subject column and a limit of 2 characters for the grades column. Select the range of cells in column 2 and go to the Data tab, and then Data Validation. The Data Validation Rules tab opened on the right side, here we select Add Rule. In the Criteria list we scroll down and select Custom Formulas. Next we type this formula with which we will set a limit of 10 characters for the selected cells. Additionally, we can leave a message, use no more than 10 characters and check the box, reject the input. Click done. Let's check out how it works. If we enter no more than 10 characters, then these characters are saved in cells. If we enter more than 10 characters, we immediately receive a message about the inability to enter, and when we click OK, everything that was entered was not saved. Great, and now we'll do the same thing, just for the grades column. Select the column and click Add Row. Select the custom formula is criteria, enter the formula, leave in the message, and select reject the input. Click done. We check how our rule works. If we enter one or two characters, they are saved in the cells. If more, then not. And to make it really nice, let's prohibit editing for the entire sheet and allow editing only for this range where we have set the rules. Select the entire sheet and go to the Data tab, where we click Protection Sheets and Ranges. The corresponding tab on the right has opened and in it we select the Sheet option. Here we select Accept certain cells and add the range in which the rules are set. If there are several ranges, you can click Add another range and add a second range here. Click OK and set permissions. Next, when selecting the first option, a message about the impossibility of editing will be displayed. And in the second one, we can select those users who can edit this document by entering the user's name or email address. For example, select the first option and click Done. And now only the CD range can be edited and the rest of the sheet is closed from editing. That's all I wanted to tell you, now you know a little more, thanks for watching.